Dodge Ram ghost truck. Whoa! That's crazy. I would never have expected that to be a cop. Wow, they take their uh, ghost vehicles seriously here in Saskatoon. Watch out for the black Dodges, people. The B. Mandy. It's not even Mandy, it's Google I'm listening to here. Mandy didn't know where this place was. Once you see this road, you'll understand why. <laughs> Gotta bring my lumber down here. I'm always going to these middle of nowhere places, you know? Geez, look at this. It's like another ice road. everything done so they can unload me. I mean, it's a hot load of lumber. It's supposed to be in a rush, right? This road follows the Cinnaboyne River, I believe it is, off to our right. So I'm thinking this must have been like an early settler's road because the homes and houses in here, the homesteads are like old colonial houses. It's really cool. Oh, and the road is not that good. They built the highway on the other side of the river, so I'm guessing this was the original one. How much further? Still another two kilometers? This one's a little newer. No nice farms in this area. Excuse the dirty windshield right there. In 500 meters, continue straight. Okay, in 500 meters, don't turn. Here we are. 
Way out in the middle of nowhere, big operation happening here. I think this is actually a Hutterite colony. Oh yeah, it's a colony here. It's a turn at the sign. Hey, my people used to live on colonies like this too. Established 1992. That's him that's gonna unload me there. There's all their wood stacked up right there. So that's their houses there. They have all of their businesses, homes, and everything all here on the colony. Super cool. Like I was saying, my family, we come from a Mennonite background back in the day. We used to live on colonies like this too. That's one way to preserve your culture. I like these people. They're usually very friendly too. The ones I know of anyways are always very friendly. Get my shoes on here. Can't go outside without shoes. Did you know that uh, Steinbeck was actually a colony? The Mennonite colony. Same thing with Winkler in Manitoba. There was a point where Steinbeck was actually a reserve for Mennonite people of descent only. The Winkler was the West Reserve, Steinbeck was the East Reserve. So I'm from the East side, which is Dietzi, and the West side was Yanzi, the other side. There's two reserves that was actually, that land in that area was specifically reserved for our people. And at some point or other, they forced us to take those borders down, I guess, and allow anyone to come in and live among the city and be assimilated into normal Canadian culture. But it was originally just for our people. That's a kind of a, Interesting thought for you. Interesting tidbit of information. Winnipeg, just over there. Have you guys noticed, I talked about this a little while ago, you know how cities and streetlights are turning from these orange old style bulbs to the new white LED bulbs? And I always said it's gonna change the way the sky lights up at night. Well, look at the sky here. I've noticed more and more that cities glow, give, give a white glow on the horizon as you approach them, instead of like that old orange glow. Sometimes it looked like there'd be a big fire up ahead, but really it's just a town or a city coming up. I find that interesting. I called that. The more and more of these uh, LED lights that come out, these LED street lights, the brighter the sky gets. And I've noticed that they, they give off a brighter light pollution, I think is what they call it, a brighter light pollution. When I'm going around big cities, it's almost like I'm driving in the daytime, especially in wintertime, because all the snow lights up, right? So the lights come off the street lights, bounce off the ground, light up the sky, the sky lights up the snow. It's pretty much like you're driving around during the day. And then you get out to the countryside and <laughs> suddenly it feels a whole lot darker. You see, these are the white LED street lights I'm talking about, if you guys weren't sure. These used to all be orange. They changed them to these bright white ones. They give off a whole lot more light. I like them better, actually, myself. Even the small towns in Manitoba have been changing over to these. I'm sure they save a lot of hydro, or a lot of electricity. We call electricity hydro here in Manitoba, if you're wondering. All right, guys, in the car. Let's go home. There it goes. We're officially done. Let's go home. Diesel, you ready to go home? Silence. <laughs> he's so excited, he's speechless. <laughs>